Is the artist Pierre Auguste Renoir or Edgar Degas or Mary Cassatt? Are those names familiar? You'll learn how to identify the paintings of each of these impressionist artists by looking closely at their work, comparing their styles, and noticing what kind of subjects they like to paint. Impressionism was an important style during the years 1870 to 1882. This photograph of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France was taken over 100 years ago at the same time these artists were living and working there. Renoir liked to paint happy people having a good time. Impressionist painters were called impressionist because they tried to paint their own impression of what they saw. And Renoir painted these women, men and children in a colorful scene exactly as he saw them. The artist Degas painted wonderful portraits of families, but he also liked to paint people working at their jobs or activities. He worked with oil paints, but often used pastels, which are colored chalk, as well as charcoal in his paintings. Mary Cassatt became very famous for her paintings of mothers and children. As a woman in the late 1800s, when they had to be very proper, she didn't have very many opportunities to paint subjects such as landscapes like men did, but she excelled at what she could paint in her studio. We're going to spend more time now with the work of each of the Impressionist artists we've introduced to you. This is a portrait that Pierre-Auguste Renoir painted of himself. Notice that he liked to paint soft edges on his portraits and few straight lines. He was a serious, solitary man, but in the early 1900s, he was publicly recognized as a fine artist. He became prosperous and built a house and studio in the south of France, where he lived until he died when he was 78. He so loved to paint that during the last 20 years of his life, when he was unable to move his hands freely because of crippling arthritis, he strapped a brush to his arm and continued to paint. Let's look closely now at three paintings by Renoir. We'll take one at a time. This painting is entitled Ball at the Moulin de la Galette. This was a kind of outdoor restaurant where people could not only eat, drink, and talk, but could also dance, which was a popular activity for all ages at the time. How do you know that this party happened long ago? What clues tell you whether it is day or night when you can't see the sky? Renoir liked to paint with clear light colors and have his subjects in informal or natural poses. The women wore pretty long dresses and the men wore their best clothes and straw hats. Renoir painted dark and light values like this and where there were light spots, he painted a lighter value of the color on which the light fell. Where there were shadows, he painted a darker value of the same color. And notice the soft feathery edges. Although there are many figures in the picture, it seems organized and balanced. Can you tell why? Can you see that Renoir repeated the color of pink in many parts of the picture? In this way, he keeps our eyes moving around the busy composition, almost as if we too are dancing. This painting, called Madame Charpentier and her children, shows the family of one of Renoir's good friends. The public who saw this painting at an official Paris art exhibition liked it very much. Renoir painted family portraits because his friends could pay him well to paint their attractive wives and handsome families. The little girl in blue with shining blonde hair looks at her little brother. Boys under three years old dressed as girls in those days. Their mother, of course, looks very proud of them. And the dog certainly looks patient as he poses for the artist. Have you noticed that Renoir painted this picture with few hard edges and few straight lines and used fresh light colors? It also has a carefully planned composition like his other painting we studied. Renoir wanted to make a group portrait of many of his best friends enjoying themselves at a restaurant located on the bank of the Seine River, which runs through Paris. It is called the Luncheon of the Boating Party. Art historians think that they have learned the identities of most of these friends. 
Alin Charagot, who was playing with her dog, later became Renoir's wife. The restaurant's owner is the bearded man leaning on the rail. Renoir gave him many paintings in exchange for his meals. At the right, seated backward in his chair, is Gustave Caivat, another artist who bought many Impressionist paintings. This painting is Renoir's impression of a celebration of good friendship and joy. It is a masterpiece created by using many of the elements and principles of design. Can you point to them? Look at Renoir's colors, patterns, and textures in his composition.